Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs has withdrawn from her position for the day, leaving the chattering class to speculate about her reasons and whether she would return to work ready to fill some of the positions that her temporary successor is saying are in desperate need of attention. Arizona Treasurer Kimberly Yee on Wednesday night posted on X that she would be filling in as acting governor, saying she is pleased to step in this role without giving an explanation. She added her hope that Hobbs would appoint 13 agency directors upon her return, positions that have languished under the first-term Democrat. While I am pleased to step in this role, I will refrain from naming directors to the 13 agencies that currently have vacancies and will not call the Arizona legislature into session to confirm them, Ye said in an ex-post. That being said, I do hope when the governor returns to Arizona, she will promptly name qualified directors to these important state agencies. I expect to see a quick resolution on this matter, so we can get the work done for Arizona taxpayers, he added. Hobbs, who did not respond to a request for comment from Fox News, upset Republican Carrie Lake for the governorship last year and has since withstood a series of court appeals by Lake as she attempted to cite disenfranchised voters who could have turned the election in her favor. Lake was ultimately unsuccessful, losing her final appeal earlier this summer. As a candidate, Hobbs ran on an anti-Trump platform that propelled her to victory in a swing state the former president also narrowly lost and challenged in court. Since then, she has reportedly pressured the state attorney general to indict President Trump for election interference, a move that would mirror his similar court case brought by a local district attorney in Georgia. Hobbs has previously praised Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis for, as she claims, bringing accountability at the top level for the 2020 elections. Absolutely. I have been an advocate for holding folks involved in trying to overturn the will of the voters in the 2020 election accountable and this is part of that process, Hobbs told reporters when asked about a potential indictment, according to a report from KTAR. Accountability is critical. I don't think we're going to change direction until there's accountability at the top level, and this is an important step forward that I think should move forward and play out in the legal process.